Good morning, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. We're here in Tampa, Florida at Magnum Products. And they, um, at this facility, they make uh, drywall mud. So we're here to clean, primer, grind any rust, finish coat this silo here. There's a lot of cars and trucks in this uh, at this plant, so we got to be super careful with our paint. This this actual silo may uh, may end up just getting actual completely rolled. Show you another angle of it, but yeah, there's a lot of. It's like an industrial area in Tampa. There's a lot of plants, a lot of cars around, and it's up in the air a little bit, and it's windy and pretty chilly, so. We may have to, to roll this one out. But our finish coat's a two-part polyurethane, and it really smooths itself out, lays down real nice. Plus, we're not worrying about you know like a factory finish on here when we spray these we'll get i mean we'll, we can make it look you know as far as long as the metals in really good shape and there's not a ton you know a ton of coatings already existing on the substrate itself we can make these things look like you know glass like car finish but this one here there's not a lot of corrosion the, the rust spot that you see there that's just surface rust and it's it's like that all the way around in certain areas of that silo but we'll we'll grind all the rust on it smooth it all out and then we'll probably like i said they're they're more concerned with not getting overspray on anything so we kind of came to an agreement that we would just roll it all out like i said we that two-part polyurethane finish it leaves a real smooth finish on it anyway even when you roll it so and they're okay with that if there's a the paint's got a little bit of a texture to it because of the you know the roller knob itself but I we can make it look good so I'm not too concerned about that but we'll uh this morning we're gonna get started we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of grinding and uh, pressure washing it. Get it nice and clean first. Truck and trailer over there. I gotta pull it over here on the property when they get everything cleared out here. There's another view, oh, that sun's really bright. But we'll um, get it all nice and clean, get the, get the metal nice and clean. So we have, you know, really, really, really good adhesion of our products. Then we're gonna, apply a two-part epoxy primer to the entire tank or silo and then uh then we'll do our finish coating but you can see on here it's just pretty much surface rust we'll put the high reach up on the very very top and look at what's going on on the top of it generally on these silos here in florida the, the corrosion's mostly on the top and I don't know what they have for a, you know, a roof on that thing, if it's pitched or it's flat. Usually when they're flat, you'll always have really bad corrosion because water just sits up on the top and it can't really drain off very well. The only time the water gets off the top there after it rains or something is, is when the sun dries it out and evaporates the water. But if it's pitched, that's great. You, know, you probably won't have much for corrosion up there because it's pitched and it'll just run right off all the time. But we'll see. They kind of make these silos two different ways. You know, a lot of them have pitched roofs. Some of them don't. Depends, you know, how old they are and when they were built. It seems like the older ones are all uh, are flat. And we do all the, I guess a year, year and a half ago, we, we did about 14 of these silos over at the Sherwin-Williams manufacturing plant over in Orlando. And all their roofs on all their silos there were, uh, were flat. And they were, I've never seen so much corrosion in my life on silos 
I made you know a bunch of videos and took tons of pictures on them and uh boy there was we had about I don't know how many guys I had on that project I don't remember now quite a bit and we probably spent I don't know at least a week just grinding you know uh, flake and rust and bubbled rust and stuff on those ones um, this is just one silo so even if uh, that top is bad up there it won't take long but when you have 14 of them like we did over there at that manufacturing plant there it took quite a while we just finished up uh, over at ProLiance petroleum plant over in Orlando we just did um, I think it was 32 silos they had and they had all pitched roofs on theirs so there wasn't much corrosion a little bit here and there but uh, even on 32 of them it didn't take us long to to prep those silos because the, the corrosion wasn't bad and those those silos over there were at Pro Alliance were heck probably 50 years old at least but there wasn't there wasn't a lot of corrosion on it so but I haven't even been up on the top of this one yet so it's gonna be a you know a surprise when I get up there hopefully it's hopefully it's not bad make our job easier but uh, we'll be here for uh, I got I think four or five guys on this project it'll we have to grind it and clean it and that'll take up a whole day and then we'll come back tomorrow and um, and fully prime it and then we'll take off uh, Thursday for Thanksgiving and then we'll get back here on uh, Friday and finish coat it. it it might get into one more day either Saturday or Monday just to fine-tune it and make sure everything's perfect and flawless and you know the customers super happy but um, pretty easy project, no issues. We got uh, two high reaches and all our safety equipment and everything, so should be no issues at all. Four or five day project and get on to the next one. But again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters, LLC, 407-267-5886, here in Tampa, Florida. We do tons and tons of these silos, so I like doing them. They're uh, a little bit challenging. Been in the business for 27 years now, so you know, doing houses or something really uh, nothing to those anymore. So we have a lot of industrial and commercial contracts, so I really enjoy doing these and taking on the challenge and figuring out how we're going to do things and all the great Sherwin Williams specialty products we use. So. But again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters out of Orlando, Florida, www.orlandopainters.net. Thank you and have a wonderful day.